Today we're finally going to get to test it. I'm not sure if I'm going to test the flying part today, but we're going to drive it around outside a bit and see um, how well it drives, because the wheels don't have a lot of grip. I might need to fix that. Uh, I have to what I need, and uh, let's go outside. Okay, so I have the GoPro mounted on my bicycle helmet, which is on my head. That way you can see everything I see. And I have both hands free to use the controller. So let's first do a bit of just like running up and down just in the driveway before we take it out into the street. Power it on. And power on the controller. Okay. Yeah. Everything looks fine. Let's take it out into the street. I don't think we're going to get it flying today. It's a bit windy and I don't want to risk breaking it. So we might wait a bit till we actually like get the ground effect part going. But today I want to at least drive it around a bit. It's really cold. I should have brought gloves. Oh, stupid. Okay, let's test it out. So we already have power. Let's go. And... Ah, oh, crap. Okay, we destroyed the tail fin. Nothing else was damaged. That was too much thrust, I guess. That would mean it's too tail heavy, so we need to move more weight to the front. See what I can do about that. Might be able to just skid it around a bit, actually. Okay. I'm lazy. Let's just... Yeah, we're definitely gonna need more weight to the front. Yep, well, we broke the tail fin, and I know that I need more weight in the front. Let's see how much tear the wheels took. The wheels actually look pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna take this back inside. And uh, actually, so the, the way I can see everything is I have my phone hooked up to the GoPro. Can't see the screen because of the light, but. I can get, oh come on, now I can't see anything. Okay, I can't stop the thing, oh no. Okay, bye. Okay, so the tail fin's almost fixed and I'm adding these new support struts right there. So the way I think I'm going to reduce the weight in the back is simply to just put this smaller battery in because this is a thousand milliamp hours that the one I currently have it is a thousand eight hundred but it weighs significantly more. I don't think we're going to need the extra 800 milliamp hours especially because we're not running this for days on end. We're doing a few quick minute long tests. And this is the main reason I don't want to fly it yet because I once it gets off the ground, first we have very little control over it it, unless it's ground effect. You saw it did that flip. That was because there's too much weight in the back and because I put too much throttle too fast. I didn't give enough time for acceleration. I'm gonna put less weight in the back and I fix the tail fin. So let's go test it. Okay, so we're back outside. I repaired the tail fin. Uh, there wasn't really any damage to it other than the tail fin broke off, which was very easy to fix. And I moved the center of gravity a bit forward by putting a smaller battery in it. Shouldn't really affect it that much. Anyway, I'm going to be a little easier on the throttle this time. Just to ensure that we don't have another flip. But let's do just a bit of throttle. Okay, our tail fin isn't able to control it. That's interesting. 
Might have to make the tail fin bigger. We will see. Yeah, tail fin isn't big enough. And it likes to drift to the right. If I had a functional tail fin, that wouldn't be a problem. Let's put it directly on the center of this road. That was barely half throttle. At full throttle, it'll definitely work. Yeah, so we're gonna need a bigger tail fin. Okay. Okay, I extended the tail fin. Let's see if that has literally any effect on the steering. Because as of right now, it can't steer. Power! Something broke. Okay, this entire thing just came off. Literally, this entire piece that holds the motor. That's a problem. Uh. Well, let's go fix it again. I'm honestly not really in the mood to fix it again. I kind of just wanted to do something else, but I have nothing really else to do. It's like a call on my friends over. Okay. Let's go fix it again. Okay, so I reinforced the motor mount with a bit of metal and some foam. And the tail is now much, much larger. So let's go outside and test it. Okay, I'm in the driveway because there's no car here for some reason. And... Got everything set up. Let's try first just a bit of... I still have very little control of steering, but I have some control, which is better than nothing. Okay, I have a bit of control now. Still not much, which is annoying. I might have to move forward a bit, which is possible, but hard. Oh, something just fell. What just fell? I just heard something fall. Oh yeah, also we lost a nut bolt thingy. It's probably gone by now. A few days ago when I was last here. What? What wheel? Yeah, it's underneath the... Okay. Oh, the wheel fell off. Well, we should be able to go without it. I will keep that. And that's the problem with this thing. Did I destroy it again? No, I didn't. Okay. Oh yeah, I did. I might be able to unbend this by hand. Uh, there we go. Okay, I don't really think this is going to work. I might have to redesign it and rebuild it from the ground up. I don't think this design is working. The problem is, once I get enough thrust to actually go through a ground effect, it just flips over. Like that. 
That's the problem. And it's not that it's too back heavy. Well, I guess I could test that by putting a few rocks in the front. Let's go get some rocks. Okay. There's some rocks here. I don't know why they're here, but there are some rocks. Okay, let's get like three, four. Uh, that one's three. Three rocks. And let's add them to the front compartment. So, let's add, oh, I could just shove them right here, actually. Let's add a rock there, and let's see what happens. Ready? Again, still too much thrust in the front. How much weight will it take? I can't really move the CG forward anymore. Unless I want to add weight to the front. Let's put these in the compartment on the bottom. Oh no, that's too far back. Okay. okay. Let's maybe shove them in there. Which one? Don't know if you can see this. That's so, let's try it again, and I'll just set that rock there. Hopefully it doesn't move, if it doesn't. Like I said, it's still too front heavy. What can I put in the front? Okay. There's a lot of mini rocks. They can put these. bigger rock out. I might have to put metal screws. Let's fill this up with rocks. Oh, come on, I'm not going to be able to get it. Well, I guess we could just ride it around a bit. Again, I think we were actually off the ground for a second there. See? That's the problem. There's too much thrust in the front. I need... What if I moved the battery to the center? It can leave the ground, but that wasn't our goal. Our goal was to make a ground effect vehicle. This is not gonna work. I need to move the center of gravity. This design might work if I can move the battery, which is currently in the back, maybe to like the front. I thought the back would have more lift than the front because all the air was going under it. But then, then again, nothing ever works the first time, so why would I expect that? I'm gonna bring this back inside. Bye. Okay, so I moved the battery of the craft to the center of it, so directly above the center of gravity. Theoretically, that should prevent it from doing that weird top flippy spin thing. Again, theoretically, obviously this is not going to work because it just doesn't. Nothing ever works, so this is not going to work. I'm going to realize that I put the center of gravity too far forward. And then I will move it back, only to realize that this entire project is stupid. I should have used an airfoil on a much smaller craft, and the craft should have been a triangle with a smaller propeller and the whole vehicle being smaller. Then I will rebuild it and delete this entire video series from the history of YouTube. Okay, let's get back to testing. So I reattached all the wheels. Boop. Power! Now for the tests. And that actually almost worked. 
for a second it wasn't the ground effect. Huh. Maybe this could work. I think it was just about half throttle. It was that special point where it almost worked. So I'll put it on half throttle. Yes! Yes, yes, yes! That, it almost worked. Okay, okay, okay. It was in the ground effect for about a second. This is going to work, I think. I think this might actually work. Okay, let's bring it till we have more room to test with. We won't run into those two cars. That one's my dad's. That one is that guy's. I actually know that guy. He's really nice. He gave me some heat shrink tubing. Um, so let's test it facing this way. Okay. Half throttle. Okay, so I think what I need to do is bring it to half throttle, then once it gets up, lower the throttle. Let's try that. Half throttle seems to be the sweet spot that gets it up into ground effect, but then after it gets into ground effect, it's too much throttle, and it just does that weird flippy thing again. So, let's uh, try that thing. Okay, so starting in half throttle, And we swivel too much to the side. Okay. Oh yeah, my sister showed her drawing flames on one of the wings. Really, they should be facing that way so it looks like the flames are blowing in the wind of the direction that it's going. Oh, there's a car. More like a truck. Is it turning or going straight? I can't tell. What's it doing? Oh, it's turning. Okay, we're good. I'd rather be safe than sorry. And lose like three seconds of content. Anyway, let's. Oh, wait, no, it is backing. Oh, wait, what is it doing? Okay, let's test on the driveway. Ready? Okay, half throttle. I don't have enough airspace here. I think something fell off because something is dragging. Let's check the bottom from the wheels came off. All wheels, oh no, this one's coming off. Okay, okay. let's go back. It's almost working. Look, even if I run, it goes up. Ooh. Let's get back to testing. Oh, now the wind is going that way. Nah, forget it. Let's go. Yay, mud. Did we get mud on it? Oh, we got mud on it. Yay. Let's go in this direction now. Ground effect. There we go. There we go. We're getting close. I might need to move the battery up a little bit more. We're getting close. Okay. Again, we were in ground effect for a second there. How do we get into ground effect for more than a second? That's my question. Okay, did we lose any wheels yet? No, not yet. Luckily, I can just really print new ones. They're like 34 minutes to print, I think. And... So, one good part about this design is when you hear that scratching, that means it's on the ground. When you don't hear it, it means it's left the ground. And if it goes too high, you can see that pretty clearly. It does sort of like a this and then crashes and destroys the tailing, which I've already had to repair. So, let's try that again. Half throttle. Ground effect! Ground effect! Yes! 
I was in a controllable ground effect. So from here to there, I was in a controlled ground effect. I was gonna crash into that car. I got into ground effect, did that with this thing, steered out of the way. And then right about here, it tried to do that jumpy thing again. I think a little more weight in the front and move the CG forward a bit might fix it. Or just more thrust in the back, which is not exactly possible without a second motor. Which I do not have. So let's try this again. So, half throttle. And we just throw the tail fin again. Much damage did we do to the tail fin? Yeah. One of the good parts about this tail fin design is that this is strong enough that instead of breaking it, normally it just outbends this paper clip little thing right here that holds it in place. So like so far twice, I was able to just rebend that paper clip. At some point, that paper clip is gonna break. Hopefully not anytime soon. Ground effect. We got into ground effect again. I think I'm gonna need to put more weight in the front. I could just put like a metal bolt in the front. That might work. I'm, I'm freezing. I'm gonna stop recording for now. Uh, see you to. I don't know. Maybe see you Sunday. Oh yeah. So the last segment of video that you saw, the one before that, was recorded on Monday, I believe. It is now Thursday. So I spent most of the day eating donuts and watching videos on my phone. And then I convinced myself to start doing this. Cause you know, it's a really fun project. The problem is it's very complicated. I actually have a guy who worked on programming the B2 Spirit. So that's the most advanced aircraft ever to fly. He's actually helping me work with a work on this. So once this video is posted, which is not gonna be for a long time. I don't wanna do that much work over winter break. It's just like a relaxing time, mostly. But, other two. I was gonna go outside and fly the ground effect vehicle today, but it snowed. Oh, let's wait for next week. an airplane somewhere. Oh, there it is. Look at that. Airplane. Anyway, okay, so it's been around a month since I last recorded, and I finally got around going back outside with the ground effect vehicle. I repaired it completely, and I fixed the weight issues. It should work. I want you to go see like that. Yeah. This should be good. Okay. Tighter so doesn't come off. And there we go. There's a tiny bit of wind, but it shouldn't be too bad. Okay, so well. Wait, that's not working. Okay. Take it here. See if we can get to it. See if we can get it to do anything this way. Something just fell off. It almost worked. Oh yeah. The nine volt batteries I duct taped on came off. I thought duct tape could hold items together. Apparently it can't. Okay. I'll just reattach this really quick. Luckily no damage to the actual craft. 
that's really good. Okay, so I think I need to put it like that this time. And These two 9 volt batteries are a lot of weight for just a small little thing on the front. Should be enough to secure it from there a few flights. Okay, let's go this way this time. There's a big street right there, it's not really safe, but... Since when was safety first priority? Well, now this came undone as well. I'm going to need to make this wheel a bit higher. It's going into the ground. That's not going to be too hard. I'm going to go inside and fix it. Okay, so I fixed it, made the wheel a bit lower to, so that the repeller doesn't scrape the ground anymore. Put in the repeller, took off one of the 9 volt batteries. Let's see what happens! Oh, well, this is screwed up a bit. That worked! I shut it off, I don't know why it kept running, but that almost worked. It was only barely touching the ground. Okay. And no damage! Got for another round. She might take it to the field. It's much bigger space. Look at it. Yeah. That was scary, but I saved it. That was a grand effect for like maybe a second and maybe two seconds. That's pretty good. It's actually working for once. Okay, let's. working like it's off the ground one of the I think the front wheel is still touching the ground just because I made it so much lower now we're gonna take it to the field and see what we can do there's like this big strip of land over there that's flat we could test it on that if it works then we can call this series to a close I can demount out the electronics and we can build something else Ooh, is this wet? Looks like ice. Cool. It's slightly windy. Because it's so low to the ground, it shouldn't really matter. It's actually some geese over there as well. Okay. I suspect it, it just shreds up the grass. There's a flat piece over there that could work though. We have to get it to full speed really fast if you want it to even work. So this is all wet, we can't use this one. That one doesn't look as wet. In the summer, right now it's like springish, 
Today is the first day that with temperatures that permit this type of outdoor activities. <coughs> huh. There's supposed to be two strips. There's a second one out here. Oh, it's all the way down there. Probably not be able to test it. Might be able to. There's the keys. And there they go. Huh. There was another strip. Oh, is that it? That just big puddle of water there? I think that puddle of water there is it. I don't know what happened to it. Okay, that's like 100% mud. Oh, it's not gonna work. And I dropped it. Uh, this is not gonna work. There's nowhere to ride it here. Yeah. Okay, let's go back. Cut to when I go back. Just cut this out. Taking a long time to walk back, just cut out the walking back part. Fine, put your way. Waste everyone's time. I think my mom is home. It's all for them. Cars there. No, I don't think she's home yet. We're back to this thing over here. Oh, I didn't see the garbage can. Server Brook. Well, I think that's all the tests we're gonna get for today without a bigger ground. We know it works though, it gets into ground effect. Almost the front wheel is a bit too down. Well, can't even test any more any day. Okay, um, so you get an extra recording time, I guess videos are posted, so I think I'll send those to him. Anyway, um, so, yeah. Um, oh yeah, the repeller is scratching on the ground again. I think I might need to fix that somehow. If anyone sees this and has any idea how to make this better, other than just moving the center of gravity forward, 
Uh, please post that in the comments now because I'm, start of, I'm starting to run out of ideas. My only, my main idea is just move the center of gravity forward. Other than that, there's not much we can really do. I mean, we can scrap the whole design and build a new one. But that always works, but then again, that's annoying because this took me a very long time to build. I think let's screw around with it a little bit more. Then I'm going to go inside and probably just set this aside and continue working on it on Sunday. Because I am really lazy. Okay. So, oh, there's another card there. Oh. Just run to the sidewalk. Oh, he's leaving. Okay, good. So, let's put this just, just under half throttle. Again. It's a very durable craft, I'll say that. I'll give it that, it's very durable. It's still way too much weight in the back, even though basically all that's in the back is a tail fin, which weighs close to nothing. That's at least as close to nothing as I can get it. Um, yeah, oh no, the paperclip wasn't even bent, that had zero damage to the thing. I have an idea, I'm gonna hawk a metal bolt to the front of the craft and let's see what that does. See you tomorrow? No, not tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday. I wanna have time to video. Maybe like see you Sunday. Yeah, bye. Okay, let's put that Wait, fell off. Where, where did it go? It goes on the ground. What's the point of it if it's not meant to fly? It's a ground effect vehicle, I told you! Why shouldn't it fly? Why should I Wait, no, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. No, no, no. No, no, no. Okay. Do it on the take it. Eitan, Eitan. Wait, I have to. I have my re camera recording. No, I need my video. Okay, stupid wind. Okay, let's go. go. Oh, no. This broke. Ah, oh, the rudder broke. Come on. No, it doesn't. Look. You saw that? We got into grand effect and it actually flew, but then the rudder, because it's broken. Okay. So we need to take it inside and fix it. Okay. Okay. Hey, could what, you, what were your things? What happened to the motor? Uh, nothing. Oh. Yeah, flip it off, flip it off, good. Flip the controller off, there's a power switch on the front. Yeah. Watch car, it's coming on. Oh. Alright, let's go back inside and fix it. Where's the off switch? It's on the bottom right. Yeah, good. No, give it back to me. We're going to the basement? Uh, sure. Uh, I think I've had enough outside for now. I'll repair this and test it again tomorrow. It's way too windy. No, we can't go to the basement now. Why? I need to put this back in my room first. All right, let's go. And now it's pooped. I removed the electronics to reuse in the airplane, which is we're gonna do soon. Although I can actually stick the camera in it. Servo is still in it. Tail. Mostly broken. It is still repairable. That needs to be replaced. All the wheels need replacing. My locking mechanism pedal pending is <laughs> in need of replacing. The motor needs to be remounted. That needs to be fixed. And it's poop. No.